Good morning, everyone. Morning from Norwich. So here's Kat, who's going to be doing a little session for us again um, at the end of the exercises. She's, she's going to be coming in about 2022. 20, yes, Kat? Yeah, that sounds good. Good, great. I'm looking forward to that. Um, it's very popular last time, so it'd be really nice to repeat some of the stuff you did before. That'd be great. And Diana is going to be looking at the chat again, just answering any questions. If you do have any questions as we go along, some of the exercises can be a little bit strong. So if anything happens, you need any support, then just um, type in the chat. Feel free to just kind of take it easy as well and uh, just do what, what feels comfortable for you. OK, great. So without further ado, um, we will I'll open up the um, the polls. I just want to find out how you're are you going to turn your video off and yeah, I will. Yeah, and just to keep the connection nice and clean, and we'll see you in a bit later. Right, just want to find out how you're coping. Let's just have a little check in with you and find out how you're coping. It's lovely working with you every week, and we've got a lot of uh, support for this group. And we've just seen an, a, a gradual, uh, steady improvement. Hopefully, this class has contributed to that. Um, and uh, yeah, there's been an increasing proportion of you uh, feeling that you're coping well. Um, and that you're okay. And uh, I think we've got exactly that happening this week as well, because we've got just 10% of you feeling stressed. And so far, unless someone votes it, we haven't got anyone very stressed yet. Yes, we have. We've got one person who's feeling very stressed. Okay. But that's still uh, less than we've had in previous weeks. So we want to help you just continue just looking after yourself the Shiatsu way. We're going to be using Qigong and Douyin as usual. OK, great. So I thought what we do today is we're going to look a little bit more um, at some of the emotion, how the emotions affect the body. And we're going to do our usual three burner tune in. But this week, I thought what we do is we're going to tune in more on the emotional level. OK, and what I'll do is as we're doing the exercises, I'll just give you a few hints about how Chinese medicine and shiatsu exercises can help you just regulate your emotions that you might be feeling. OK, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take you in. A, I'm going to take you into a tuning in exercise as we've done before. But I'm going to encourage you to tune in on the emotional level this week. Just find out which burner uh, you need to work on as a group. And then I'll, I'll modify the exercises as we go along. OK, does it sound good? Right. OK, great. So hopefully you've got your piece of paper if you want to divide it into three sections. Um, I'll just put myself on big screen. Yeah, so I've got my piece of paper all ready to do it. Okay, I've got these three areas there. And we're going to tune in on the emotional level to the three burners. I'm going to check in with you and find out um, which one uh, you uh, need to work on. Okay, and we'll work on it together. All right, so first of all, I'd like to just spend a little bit of time tuning in. First of all, we're just going to close our eyes. Okay, just going to close our eyes. And just let our awareness go internally into our body. And we're not going to put our hands on the areas this week. And the reason for that is because we want to tune in more to the emotional level. And we don't really want to get uh, kind of locked into the physical level too much. So we're going to keep our hands set away from our body. Just relax them by your side if you're standing or if you're sitting. OK, and then we're just going to relax and we're going to tune into the lower burner. You remember where that is. That's below the navel and down onto the pubic floor and around the front of the body and then round into the back and the sacrum. OK. And I just want you to ask yourself one question, OK, which is on an emotional level, what is that burner like? OK, on an emotional level. What is that burner like? OK, now you might get a picture coming into your head. You might get a description. You might have a feeling. It all depends on how you experience your own body. So now we're just going to take a pause and we're going to get our paper. OK, and we're going to draw or write in that lower burner area here. OK. And we're going to write in how we're experiencing our emotions in that lower burner area and you might be calm you might be feeling a emotion you might be like something like the sea or the clouds or something or the wind whatever it is it doesn't matter you just write down um, what you're feeling there in the lower burner on an emotional level okay 
Okay, got it? Right, cool. Okay, so now we're going to go up the middle burner. Same thing again. Keep your hands away from your body. You're going to relax them by the sides. And we're going to tune in internally. Close your eyes is a good idea. I'm going to close mine. And now we're going to take a journey inside and we're going to tune into the middle burner. Now, you remember that's below the diaphragm. It's, um, it's above the navel and below the diaphragm. It's around uh, the digestive organs like the stomach and the liver. Okay, so we're going to close our eyes. We're going to go into that area of our body. And we're going to ask ourselves, on an emotional level, what's it like? What's that middle burner like? Okay, on an emotional level, what is that middle burner like? Got it? Okay, so then we're going to open our eyes. Let's take a little bit more time if you need it. Kind of draw in the middle section of our chart here what kind of emotions we felt in our body in that middle burner. Right. Just checking in again. Uh, okay. Okay, now sometimes you'll get an image, sometimes you get a feeling, sometimes you get like a metaphor, like, oh, it's like the storm or it's like the calm lake or something. Or you might just get a feeling or a texture or it might just feel tight or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just it's your own personal experience of your burner on an emotional level. Okay, so that's the middle burner done. Ready for the, um, ready for the upper burner. Okay. So we just turn just if you're coming in late, uh, coming in late, we're just tuning in on an emotional level to the three burners and we've got to the upper burner now. Um, so it doesn't matter. We can catch up here. OK, so let's do it. OK, relaxing our arms, closing, um, closing our eyes. And now we're tuning into the upper burner that remember that that's the whole lung area, the heart. It's this area above the diaphragm. OK, so we're going to tune into that area. And we're tuning in on an emotional level. Okay, so we're tuning in what kind of emotions are we feeling there? Okay, and um, all we need to do is close our eyes and ask ourselves a simple question, which is on an emotional level in the upper burner, what is it like? Okay, so on an emotional level, what in the upper burner, in my upper burner, what is it like? Got it? Okay, once you get a, a, a feeling or a picture or a metaphor or whatever it is that comes into your mind or into your experience, I should say, then we're going to draw that or write that in the upper um, burner area here. So you've got a record of it. Okay. So on emotional level, what's it like? Okay. Right. Okay. Right. So this week, what um, I'd like to do is as we go through the exercises, I'm going to just give you a few bits of information on how Chinese medicine allows us to regulate our emotions and help work for emotional stuff. Uh, by using the meridian system. The meridian system is laid down embryologically. It connects the internal organs. The internal organs are connected through the hormonal system to our moods and our emotions. So we can use shiatsu techniques and acupressure techniques and doin to help us work without drugs, without um, other external influences, really just looking after ourselves. Okay, sound good? Yeah, okay. So let's uh, find out as a group, which burner you would like to work on today, bearing on bearing in mind that we're working on that emotional level. And I'd be very interested to see which one of those three you'd like to work on the most as a group. So if you'd like to just vote in that poll and we'll go straight into the exercises. Um, we've got half an hour before Kat comes in and she's got something for us as well along that 
along that line. So let's see. Okay, well, look at this. This is extremely interesting. Very interesting indeed, because I think the last couple of weeks we've had most of you lower burner has been the uh, burner of choice. And that on a more physical level is your underlying energy, like um, the, uh, the adrenal system and your underlying energy. But this week we've got far more middle and upper burners. And the reason for that is uh, I think the reason for that could be because a lot of the experiences that we have on an emotional level, we feel in the heart and also in the lungs. Okay, and Kat's gonna follow that up with some work later on in half an hour's time. So let's start. Okay, cool. We're gonna start off with the lower burner again because that will anchor us and then we'll go up onto the middle and upper burners and we'll see if we can just regulate those emotions and just get ourselves into a, bit of a, a little bit of a less stressed state. Okay, sound good? Right, so let's go. Checking in at the beginning before we start, let's just get that heaven and earth connection. Yeah. So if you just close your eyes and just notice whether you're feeling kind of heavy and kind of sinking down, feeling a bit too floaty, maybe you're just feeling a little bit floaty. And we're going to regulate that. We're going to try and get you in the center, try and get all, get all of us in the center nicely connected to heaven and earth, okay? And we're gonna do this simple Tai Chi style exercise to set us off on that path. Checks, make sure your feet are relaxed and your kidney one point. Remember on the sole of your foot is nice and open, the bubbling spring point is nice and open. We're gonna relax our ankles, open up the knees and soften the hips. So you're gonna sinking slightly into here with the sacrum hanging down. Okay, it gives us a nice feeling connection with the earth. And then imagining this golden thread from the top of your head is lifting you up. Okay, nice and floating so you feel light. So you've got this grounded feeling down through the earth and you've got this light feeling from this thread connecting you to the heavens. Okay, and that's yin and yang in action. Okay, we've got the yin of the earth giving us the heaviness and yang being the heavens, the air and the light and the sky giving us the lightness, okay? So there we go, let's try it. All together, okay, we're gonna breathe in and we're gonna sink down into the earth, feel heavy in our body and our arms float up. We're gonna push from the earth and let the hands float down. Okay, we do it with the breathing, so breathing in sinking down and breathing out pushing up i'll show you from the side so you can see okay breathing in and breathing out okay nice okay let's keep, let's just keep doing that breathing in sinking down into the earth breathing out floating up Sinking down into the earth, pushing up, okay, ready, one more, sinking down, okay, now you'll feel nicely connected now to the earth, so let's just work on the other half of the yin yang connection, we're going to work on the connection here, and we're going to focus on this golden thread, and this time we're going to feel like we're descend, uh, we're being lowered down from the heavens. So concentrating on the top of the head, we get lowered down, feel the weight of your sacrum, floating down and floating up. Doesn't that feel good? Floating down, open those armpits and the arms, open up the shoulders, float up. Completely different feeling, isn't it, right? It's lightness floating down and floating up. Okay, externally it's exactly the same movement you notice, but internally it's completely different, isn't it? Floating down and floating up. Excellent. Okay, doesn't that feel good? Feel nice and light in your upper body? So let's put them together and we'll combine them together. Okay, so here we go. We're going to concentrate on the top of your head, 
we are going to lower ourselves down, float down, and we're going to concentrate on our feet and push up from the earth. Got it? Float down from the top of your head and push up from your feet. <laughs> Float down from the top of your head. Push up from your feet. Okay, two more. Float down from the top of your head and push up from your feet. Okay. Right, and we can do it the other way round, okay? Because what we can do now is we can sink down to the earth and lift ourselves up from the golden thread. So we switch the yin and yang thing around. Great way of balancing your whole yin and yang um, relationship with the earth. Okay, so let's try that. So this time, we're going to sink down into the earth and we're gonna float up from the top of the head. There you go, all right? Got it? S feel heavy, sink down into the earth, float up from the top of your head. There you go. Sink down, sink down, float up. Not bad, very good, two more, here we go. Sink down, float up. Okay, one more, sink down and float up. Very good, and just a little, little shake out. I'm gonna check in again, let's see, okay? So look, standing, doesn't that feel good? Nice light feeling in the upper body particularly, nice and spacious, nice connection with the heavens, but nice open feeling here and connection with the earth too, and that's where we wanna be, kind of in the middle there. Okay, great. So let's just do some foundation work for the lower burner and then we'll get right on and see if we can help out, help ourselves with the middle and the upper burners. And I'll just take you through some of the emotions that involve. If you've got a lower burner on the emotional level, that's usually related to, uh, in Chinese medicine, usually related to um, kind of anxiety and especially fear because it links embryologically up with the adrenal system. Um, there's a whole connection here to the adrenal system down through into this part embryologically. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of give ourselves a bit of courage now. We're going to put our hands together and rub them together. And we're going to zap ourselves with a bit of courage in the lower burner because we all need a bit of that, um, especially these days, right, with everything that's going on. So let's place one hand over the other just below the navel and we're going to relax our upper body, relax our shoulders, okay, and also just check your legs. Make sure your legs are nicely connected into the earth. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? And now we're going to rotate the hands very lightly around just below the lower, lower uh, below the navel. And we are imagining energy coming from our hands, going into our body, aiming towards the back. This is a foundation exercise to tonify and strengthen the lower burner and to give us some courage, which is what we all need, okay? So let's just do this for a while. And we do this most weeks, so now I guess you're pretty good at this. You just keep those shoulders open, keep the elbows and the wrists relaxed. The more you relax your arms, the easier it will be to get your energy through your hands and into that dantian area. Okay, so just keep that going. Very good. Okay, now if you have got enough flexibility in your shoulders, if you haven't, if you've got stiff shoulders, don't do this one. Just keep going with the front. If you can comfortably do this, then we're gonna zap this point here on the waist. Bladder 23, that's the associated effect point of the kidney energy in Chinese medicine. And that's another point that we use for courage, okay? To give us more courage, more energy to move forwards. And we did that exercise the other week where we thought of the past and the future, remember? And this is all to do with that, it's to do with moving forwards into the future with courage, okay? And what we're doing physiologically is we're actually kind of easing the adrenal system, we're kind of calming ourselves down and giving ourselves a feeling of power and safety 
that we need to move forwards. Okay, now what does that feel like? Okay, let's just close our eyes. Pretty good. Okay, can you feel that? You can feel the energy moving from the back and from the front. And if you really relax, you're breathing down into that lower abdomen there. A nice feeling of solidity in the lower burner. Okay, great. Now, quite a lot of you had middle burner uh, emotional things. There's two main things that happen in the middle burner, okay? There's kind of frustration and there's uh, kind of like anxiety and worry. And I'll show you how you can tell which one um, if you just place your hands like this on the middle burner, okay? Basically, what it is, is that on um, your, uh, yeah, on this side, okay, we have the liver and the gallbladder, and this side we have the stomach and the other channels related to the stomach. Okay, so basically if it's on the left side, on your left side, then that's probably more the stomach channel, and if it's more on the right side, it's more the liver. The stomach's more related to um, anxiety and worry, and the liver is more related to anger and frustration, okay? So you could have either of those, or maybe both, okay? So let's Time to work on this middle burner. Let's get it moving. Okay, so we've done this before. It's always a good exercise. We need to keep the energy moving in the middle burner because we don't want to get stuck. Okay, so we're going to do this arm swinging exercise. Remember your head floating up, your feet glued to the ground through kidney one. Let's breathe into this area here and relax our diaphragm and we're going to start moving. Now, if you're feeling a bit tired, you want to just do it very lightly and use your breath. Feeling weak and tired, you want to just do that. Okay. If you're feeling kind of frustrated and kind of blocked and you feel like you really want to get some movement in your body, then you can do it much stronger and you can even do this tapping thing where you whack the sides of your body as you go. And that's really good for keeping that liver tree moving. Okay. So you've got options there, keep it nice and gentle. If you want to keep it like that, maybe make it a bit stronger like this. Or if you want really strong, as far as you can go around and give yourself a bit of a tap on the sides of your body as you go. Okay, so let's do that. And I'll talk you through it as we do it. You might want to close your eyes for a bit to get internally. And then if you're feeling a bit giddy, or you might want to open your eyes, it's up to you. If you do open your eyes, it's a good idea to look across from side to side. The reason for that is the liver channel connects with the eyes, and it is very closely connected to the eyes. So you get like weak eyes, cloudy eyes, dry eyes. That's all in Chinese medicine related to the liver function. Okay. Let's get that middle burner moving. Keep those hips straight, okay? So you're getting that twist there. Keep that middle button moving. Very good. Okay. Okay, very good. Let's see what that feels like. Come back to the center. Okay, tune into your middle burner again. Can you feel that? It feels more loose kind of thing, doesn't it? I'm kind of more open and more spacious, and that's what we want to move the liver chi. So now the next thing is we want to get that stomach meridian working right, okay? The stomach meridian uh, runs down the front of the body, okay? It's to do with grounding, earthing, the digestion, obviously, but it's also closely associated with anxiety, and we want to make sure we can kind of regulate that. So let's just um, rub our hands together, and the reason it's related to anxiety is because basically your stomach will give you messages to your brain um, worrying about whether you're going to get enough food and nourishment and things like that. So if we can regulate that, then that anxiety level is going to drop. Okay, And this is going to feel a lot more comfortable all around here. So let's do it. Okay, Let's start off here. Now, if you're feeling a bit weak, you want to just go nice and slowly and cup it like that. If you're feeling a little bit frustrated and a little bit like you want to get things moving a bit, then you can use faster tapping and use the... Um, uh, relaxed fists to get that stomach meridian really open. We want to get it open and nicely nourished. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, we're going down there. I'll just give you a bit of a close up. We're going down the outside of the leg here, down the outside front of the leg. Okay, like this, both sides. 
We're going down. Remember this one around the outside of the knee. Remember this famous point? Three mile point used for marching. Chinese army used to use moxa it with heat when they went on long marches every three miles. Okay, so we want to just give that a good tapping. Go down the outside front of the legs onto the feet and then up the inside of the legs here. Front inside, round the inside of the knee. We go up here, up to the top of the legs and then we go down again. Okay, pretty good, eh? Okay, now you might want to do it nice and slowly and just tap like that if you're feeling a bit weak. This is about a moderate pace in the middle, and then if you want to really get it going, if you're feeling a bit blocked, you can increase the speed up to like this. So just find the right speed for your own energy until you feel until it feels about right. Yeah. Okay, so we go down past the knee again, and we're tapping just below the knee on the outside of the shins again. We go down again. One more, one more round, one more circuit, right? Get down. Okay, now we're going to brush off three times, just brushing off the front of our legs. Okay, very good. Okay, now a little bit of um, abdominal rubbing for the middle burner. So what we're going to do is we're going to rub our hands together again. Okay, remember we did these small circles here for the lower burner. Well, now we're going to go into the middle of the abdomen, right around the navel, and we're going to just rub that area there. That's actually where the small intestine organ is. And that organ is responsible for absorbing your food. So it's a good idea to get that nice and relaxed. Give you a bit of a close up here, right in the center. I'm working right in the center of my abdomen. There's my navel right there. Okay, I'm just like going like this again, nice and light, light pressure, relaxing our arms. Very good. Okay. And now we are going to extend it round into a bigger circle. This is round the intestines, and as we go along the top here going to focus a little bit stronger into regulating this area here. So I want you to just relax, go nice and slowly, soothing this area here and round. Okay, so this is the intestines, this is the liver, and this is the stomach. Okay. It's feel good, doesn't it? Feel that just soothing that area there. Okay, it's nice and relaxing the whole stomach and then round the whole intestines. Because you're talking about a whole tube here. You know, the stomach goes into the small intestine and it goes round uh, the colon there. So it's one great big tube and we want to just get that really relaxed. That's going to send messages to our brain that we're safe, that we've got enough to eat. It's a very primitive feeling of feeling safe and that will reduce our anxiety levels and just make everything much calmer for us. Okay. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So now let's check in. All right. Let's check in again. Okay. We're going to close our eyes for a second. I want you to go into your middle burner and just remember what it was like only half an hour ago. Okay. And doesn't it feel different? Okay. There's two things that you almost certainly going to feel. It's going to feel more open and relaxed and it's going to feel kind of calmer. And the other thing is if you tune into your feet, you're going to have a nice feeling of tingling down your legs, down that stomach channel, giving you that nice grounding that the uh, stomach meridian gives you. Okay. And in five element terms, if you're interested, the stomach and spleen channels, which is what we've been working on here, are connected to the earth element. So it's all about growing food, nourishment, nurturing, and all that kind of thing. Okay, so we better get onto the upper burner, haven't we? Because that was the most popular choice for working on today, because we're gonna concentrate, we're concentrating more on the emotional level. 
Now, obviously, the heart is where we feel a lot of our emotions. And the reason for that is because when we're upset, um, we're going to feel an increased heart rate. The cat's going to do um, some um, more work on that. And also, when the heartbeat is irregular, that, that can create a lot of anxiety because of the way it feeds into our brain. So we want some exercises that are going to calm that down. Also, the lungs are really strongly connected to the emotions because when we're crying or when we're really upset, it affects our breathing, we start sobbing and stuff like that. So again, when we regulate the lungs, that gives us a feeling of positivity, okay? So there's two things we want to do in the upper burner. We want to kind of get the lungs really kind of activated and open. So we do that first, and then we do a little bit of opening for the heart, and then it'll be over to cat. Right, so here we go. Let's get those lungs really, really positive. Positivity is the positive aspect of the lungs. Okay, so I'm going to show you a really gentle qigong exercise for the lungs, which is a really good one. Okay, very simple. You just lift up your arms and you drop them back. Okay, I'll do it from the side. You just lift up your arms and you drop them back. Okay, now it's much more, much stronger than you think this exercise because now we do some thing else that's very important. We take our thumbs and we bring the thumbs out. Like that, okay? Now you notice that changes the effect of the swinging because what's happening now is that you'll feel it. If I did it in slow motion, if you do it in slow motion, you come back, when you get to there, can you feel that opening here? And that's opening all around lung one and lung two, the acupuncture channel that runs into the lungs and it goes into the thumb. Okay, so the idea is, is that every time we go back, we're just giving that lung a little bit of stimulation, opening it up. And this is a great exercise if you're feeling a bit weak um, and you don't need anything too strong. Okay, so this is a really good exercise for this. And it's all done, uh, the power of it is the repetition. Okay, Drip, bring your arms up, drop in the back, keeping your thumbs out. Okay, nice easy breaths. Yeah, just give you a bit of a close up there. Okay, so I'm going this as I'm going back like this, this area is opening up. Yeah. Okay, as we're doing it, we're connecting, make sure we've got the heaven and earth connection. So we're floating our head up and we're opening our feet and we're um, allowing our energy to sink down into the floor. So that gives us our central connection with the spine that allows us to open up those lungs. Okay, very good. Okay, so as I mentioned, grief and letting go is associated with the lungs. So just let's really let go stuff here. Okay, let go, let go, let go, okay? And the positive emotions, like positivity, like having a positive attitude to things. And we all need that right now, okay? So that's a great uh, attribute of the lungs. Okay, now look, uh, let's do a little bit of doing. We get this, uh, we do a little bit of doing to get the lung channel really activated. Before we do that, let's just close our eyes. Okay, now, can you feel that? It's already starting to open up the front of our chest and open up around the front of the shoulders. Uh, you might even feel a tingling down into the thumb and that's the lung channel activated. All right, so let's just give it a bit of extra helping hand with the uh, uh, doing. Don't forget if you're quite feeling a bit weak, you want to go slowly and cup. If you're feeling like you need a bit more stimulation, you can go to a medium tempo. And if you want a lot of stimulation, you're feeling quite strong, and you just want to get it going and you can go faster. So this is about medium kind of tempo like that. Okay, we're going down into the uh, thumb. Okay, which is where the channel runs. And go back up to here. And then down. You're going to go three times. Okay, you might be cupping like this slowly. You might be really fast. Just find the tempo, the speed that's good for you. Okay, we're going to the thumb. Good, okay. Okay, that's it. Three times, okay, and then three times the other side.
Okay, the lung channel comes out around here, that's lung one, and it goes round here and then down to the thumb. And it's again, it's embryological connections with the organ that are formed as we as we develop. Okay, so okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. Whew. Okay. One more one more thing for the lungs. Okay. Remember this movement here? Well, you can understand then that this stretch really works for the lungs. And this, if you want to stretch, you link your thumbs together. Okay, breathe in, breathe out, and then go down nice and gently, lifting your fingers up towards the ceiling. Okay, and then just hold the stretch. You can open your throat out by looking up slightly and opening this area here. There you go. Okay, come out of the stretch, second breath. Breathe out. And then third breath. Okay, you notice that this opening here is the lung channel, okay? So then we come back on the fourth exhalation. Okay, checking in time. Okay, so now let's just see what's going on there. We close our eyes. There we are, pretty amazing, right? Can you feel that? Feel all that movement and warmth around your upper chest particularly. Notice how your shoulders and shoulder joint feel like they're kind of moving and opening out. Almost certainly got tingling down towards your thumb there. It shows you that the channel is working. Okay, now try this, look. If you breathe in, breathe into the upper burner, this time, okay, and breathe out. Okay, notice how free that is. Look, breathe in again. Okay, all this moves really easily and the breath comes in really easily into the upper burner. Okay, and that feeling will give you a feeling of positivity. Okay, positivity will help you let go of stuff. Okay, we've got just like two or three minutes left. So I'd just like to do a little bit of work to get you ready for Kat because she's going to be doing some work on the heart. Here's a little hit, a little uh, idea for tuning in. Tune into that upper burner. Okay, tune in again to the upper burner. We're going to close our eyes. Okay, now if you tune into your lungs, you're going to feel them pretty active now. They're kind of tingling, okay? And that tingling feeling is because of all this work we've done here on the lung channel and all these swinging exercises, okay? Now tune in to your heart organ, and that's just more or less in the center of chest, slightly to the left there. Um, and you can kind of get a feeling for how your heart organ feels. And when we get upset, often we get like a tight feeling. You might feel uh, like, a, um, like uh, the heartbeat is not regular, that kind of thing, okay? And we can directly calm that and release that with these stretches and exercises. So let's just spend a couple of minutes getting our heart meridians sorted out, okay? We're gonna do them with some, we're gonna do some stretches. Uh, we've done this before, this is for the pericardium, which links directly to the muscle of the heart. We wanna calm that down and regulate it. So let's do these very mindfully and slowly. We're gonna breathe in. We're gonna concentrate on our middle finger that links directly into the pericardium. We're going to breathe out slowly. Okay. Just when you get to the maximum stretch, you'll feel a connection from your arms into your chest, and quite possibly you'll feel it right into the actual outside of the heart. And that's the link with pericardium. So let's do something with it now. Okay, we're going to open up our feet. We're going to ground into the earth and we're gonna let our head float up. Okay, hold the stretch. Connect the stretch with heaven and earth. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna come out of the stretch and we're gonna relax. And you see what we did there? We activated that connection with the pericardium and then we spread our awareness out just to give it some space to release. Okay, wanna try it again? So we're gonna breathe in. Very slowly breathing out. Connect with the chest, got it? And now open up your feet, connect with the earth. 
Feel the connection between your upper burner and the earth. Got it? And now float your head up and connect with that golden thread. Okay, and just hold it. Doesn't that feel good? You feel that? Okay. And you feel that space the pericardium has there to relax. Okay, and that's what we want to do. We want to just kind of chill it out. We want to kind of connect it up so it doesn't feel kind of like bunched up. All right, let's try it one more time. Breathing in. Okay, breathing out. Okay, connect with the pericardium through into your chest. Got it? It's a bit easier this time, isn't it? Notice that? Okay, open up your feet. Connect with the earth. Make yourself heavy. Keep the stretch. Float your head up. Make yourself light and connect the chest with the heavens. And just hold it for a few seconds. Whoa, lovely. Okay, what a lovely space there for the pericardium. Okay, great, it's 22. I'm gonna hand you over to Kat now, and she's gonna do some work. I think she's gonna do some work on the face and uh, also do some more detailed work on the on the um, heart channel. So yeah, let's get Kat up here. Hello. Hey. I hope I got them ready okay yeah, for you, Kat. perfect, yes. <laughs> okay, great, I'll leave it to you then, and I'll come back at 5 too, Lovely. right? Lovely, thank you, Cliff. Um, hello everybody. So yeah, Cliff's been um, opening up the connection with the heart, the heart protector through the arms and into the hands. And I'm going to do something similar to, I think it was two weeks ago. Feels like last week, but it's two weeks ago. And um, what Cliff mentioned about in embryology, the organs linking with different parts of the meridians in the body. Um, two weeks ago, I showed this image of when we're about seven millimeters big in the womb. Our face is actually looking at our heart, so we're completely curled up. And as we grow as a baby, we uncurl in the womb. So this connection between the face and the heart, I'm going to look at. And also, um, as a lot of you know, in Chinese medicine, the heart is connected to the Shen, which is the mind or the spirit. So when our heart is calm and open, because the mind is housed in our hearts, it can rest and be a, a lot calmer into our hearts and bodies here. So um, Cliff also mentioned about um, feeling nourished and that we have that with our digestive system, with our food and um, stomach meridian but we can also feel nourished with our blood. So that's also another good thing to think about, the connection with the heart. And then just one small thing before we get um, to touch is that um, within yoga, so as well as dance and shiatsu, I do yoga as well. And I learned not that long ago that actually loosely translated the word yoga means to yoke the mind and the body and i i love this connection between our hearts in chinese medicine and the the like the the concept of that in yoga as well so we're yoking our minds and body they're certainly not separate so i'm going to remove my glasses so i can do some work on the face so if you're happy to um touch your face that's great if you feel a little uncomfortable, you can just um, send some chi to the face by keeping the hands just off the face there and we'll go around the areas that we touch if you feel uncomfortable to touch your face. So we'll start by rubbing the hands together to create some chi, which we already have this morning. Should be nice and easy and flowing into the hands. And we'll start by cupping the hands over the eyes. So really letting the hands rest over the eyeballs. Allowing the shoulders to relax as well. So letting the shoulder blades melt down the ribs at the back. Letting that lovely energy, the chi from your hands um, be given to your eyes, letting everything be nourished with this chi. 
and then from here so you can keep your eyes closed you don't have to open them we're just going to move the fingertips and we're just gently pressing so we don't have to be too forceful but we're just gently press it's kind of firm pressing over the eyebrows either side of the eyes so around the temples and then fingertips underneath the eyes so it's kind of eye socket and cheekbones so it's kind of tapping and pressing and then down onto the cheeks a bit more under the cheekbones where our upper teeth are in our mouths all the way to the nose there's another connection here with the upper burner with the lungs and the large intestine so we can let the air in here gently pressing over the jaw so perhaps you feel there's a bit more tension in the jaw here so you can give that a firmer press as is, is comfortable all the way to the mouth and the chin and now i've got my i've got my thumbs gently pressing underneath the chin on the jaw. There's another area that's connected to the heart. So the tongue and the heart have a connection together. And I like the idea that we speak our truth. So we can gently massage this with our thumbs. Either side of the jaw, round the ears, and then either side of the neck, gently squeezing. So you can do one side and then the other, if that's easier for you, holding the elbow, supporting that elbow there, and then squeezing the back of the neck, gently squeezing down onto the shoulders and the other side. So this um, idea of nourishing, I have this nice image, seems a bit strange, but um, try it, see if it works for you. So we're going to press into the chest area and imagining like you do perhaps in the garden when you press lovely warm nourishing compost into a pot ready for those plants and vegetables to grow and flowers so imagining that you're pressing warm compost into your body to nourish yourself across the chest here connecting to the heart center and then we're going to go down one arm. So I'm just going to lift one arm up and I'm going to start by cupping under the armpit. And I'm just gently um, pressing into the arm and going all the way down to the little finger. Very gentle. So you can do this. I'll do this standing up as well. So you can do this with the arm relaxed, gently pressing all the way down to the little finger here. And then the same arm, so from the heart centre, we're going to press down the centre of the arm all the way down. So this one's the heart protector, protecting our hearts for us, all the way down to the middle finger, like Clifford so nicely explained earlier. Do that once again, pressing one compost from the heart centre down the centre of the arm to the middle finger. And then the same again on the other arm. So we're going to go and cup underneath the armpit. So you can do this standing up with the arm relaxed as well. I'll just demonstrate so you can see with the arm out. Underneath the armpit, all the way along here. Edge of the arm, pressing and giving that uh, meridian, the heart meridian, some nourishing love. All the way down to the little finger. And then the same again, so down the center of the arm, so the heart center here. We're going down the heart protector, down the center of the arm, okay. all the way down to the middle finger. And then once more, pressing lovely warm compost into our heart center, nourishing. Great. Okay. So we have just gone into these areas. So perhaps we can do this in a little more detail. So when the hand is cupped, this one is heart protector eight. 
and it's called um it has a couple of names but my favorite one is the palace of calm and it calms the heart and also the chest so you can gently press this and the joy of this is when you're out shopping and you're feeling a little bit anxious and you want to feel a lot calmer even in a queue standing in a queue you can just gently press this point and it's um uh, not that noticeable uh, as touching the face so this one's really good for calming down and then as we go to the little finger so we want the inside um, nail side of the little finger near the fourth finger this one is the heart channel and it's heart nine and it's really good for calming the mind calming our shen so let's do that on the other hand. You can also do this with the hand relaxed on your knee. So I'm just showing you so you can see. Yes, I can, Chris. So if you cup your hand and then it's down from the middle finger in that little um, kind of lower part, if it was a cup, right in the center of the palm. And the heart meridian point is here on the inside lovely so we're pressing the heart protector eight first this one's great for calming the mind releasing the chest and then we'll go down to the little finger on the inside part near the fourth finger there all the way down lovely so let's um bring our hands into a prayer position if that's comfortable for you allowing the shoulders to relax and the elbow to relax too and you can have the hands far or close to the chest and um, wherever is comfortable for you and the lovely thing here is our heart center and heart and there's also a part of the heart center that's on the back of us as well it's connecting up and making this circle circuit around our bodies with the heart protector and the heart channel connected at the hands. Lovely. So if you're comfortable here in prayer position, I'm just going to read a visualization for us before I hand you back to Cliff. If you need to relax the arms at any point, please feel free to. So you can close your eyes um, if you wish or have them open. Breathe into your heart and listen. Breathe out from the heart and expand. Listen as sensations or images rise and fall away through the body. Let your face soften, letting the weight of your brain, skin, organs and bone spread out and rest on the beat and tides of your heart. Listen, feel how the whole body receives, reflects the heart's pulse. Sensing the delicate small circulation between heart and lungs. Sense the color, vitality, generosity of the blood's great circulation streaming out from the heart to the furthest edges of our body it's nourishing sustaining and carrying away what is not needed and the slow returning movement back to the heart gently receiving inwards let the beat of your heart fill throughout the body let the body listen and turn towards the heart as the earth turns towards the sun. So if you have your eyes closed and your hands are in prayer position, just gently, you can keep your eyes closed if you wish, but pl placing one hand on the heart center and one just below the navel. So this is on our dantian connecting up with the kidneys and the lower burner that Cliff worked on so lovely 
and greatly this morning. And we're just going to let this wonderful warm sensation and opening from the heart and the face and the heart protector and heart center. It's going to nourish us and allow our minds, our spirits to be calm and free. So let's just take a couple of breaths here. So breathing in, breathing in and giving yourself all that wonderful nourishment and love. And as you breathe out, you can let anything you don't need, let go of that. Breathing in once more, giving yourself nourishment and love and appreciation. And as you breathe out, exhale, you can let go of the things that you don't need. One more breath, breathing in, that lovely nourishment all to yourself. And as you breathe out, letting go of things that you don't need. And then just return into a natural breath. And we'll just gently, very slowly, take our hands away from our bodies. And I'll um, pass you back over to Cliff. And I hope that we can feel a lot more open and calm in our hearts and in our minds as well. Thank you, Kat. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Yeah. Lovely, yeah. Okay, great. So now let's just um, look. We've got loads of thanks and love coming through the, on the chat. Oh. <laughs> okay, great. So shall we? Um, I'm just going to get us all to tune in again um, and see how we've done this week and get some feedback from you. So. If you'd like to just close your eyes again, and we're going to just remember what we felt like just 45, 50 minutes ago um, and see uh, how we've how it's changed. OK, so on an emotional level, I'd just like you to close your eyes, tune into your lower burner. And remember what it was like before. Okay, and then we're going to shift up, tune into our middle burner. And again, remembering what it was like before. And then finally tuning into our upper burner. And remembering what it was like before. OK, and you can always make some notes if you want to. And I'm just going to obviously to see how we've done this week. I'm going to launch the poll. Um, how do you feel now? OK, so do you feel more balanced than before? Uh, about the same or less balanced? And while you're filling the poll in, I just want to say um, that if you do need more support, um, we are here for you we've now into our third month of moving the shiatsu center online um, and we are finding we're getting very very good results with um, online uh, shiatsu supervision so we can take you through exercises self shiatsu we get you to tune into yourself a bit like the classes but bespoke for you and we give you recommendations and we even can record it for you and send you the video because we do it over we can do it over a video link um, so, and we're doing it all for donations, so you don't have to worry about paying um, if you can't afford it. Um, so please go to shiatsucenter.co.uk, uh, particularly if you need more help. And I noticed actually this week we've done really well. We haven't had anyone who feels less balanced, but that can happen because obviously this works quite strong and we can release things. And sometimes we can feel a bit um, jangled up sometimes when we're releasing things. We try and make it as... Um, chilled out for you as possible okay I want to say a massive thanks by the way to all of you who have been donating that's really sweet we got a check through the uh, door yesterday it was so moving to have that uh, sent to us you know who you are thank you very much and um, we'll be back next week we're out into our third month we are surviving so far um, obviously we've had all our income taken away by covid and we're, we're doing everything for donations only so if you can support us that's really great. And thank you to all of those of you who are so generously supporting us. Um, and we really hope we're going to make it through the next month. <laughs> OK, so that's it. I'm going to see you uh, same time and tell all your friends, the more the merrier. Let's get uh, any key workers, any of your friends who want to join us. Um, just let them um, go to shiatsucenter.co.uk and sign up. 
Okay, have a great week, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, Diana, for sorting out the chat. I could see all those messages going on. See you next week.